So we came out here to the driving range. We wanted three different scenarios with three different types of patients. Um, we wanted the groups to uh, go ahead and rotate through those so they get a variety of different patients and scenarios to practice treating in the back of the FLA. That was our main goal is uh, to go ahead and have that practice because it's much different treating on the ground or on a litter stands versus in the back of a moving vehicle. So uh, this week is was, it was really great because we know a lot about not only about this vehicle uh, but we know a lot experience how it's used its vehicle in your forces on your unit the our instructor is really cool they uh, tell us a lot of information about organization how we must uh, drive this vehicle how the uh, procedure of uh, check this all vehicle how they do in states and uh, how it can be better if we try to do the, uh, the check here in Ukraine. And as you can see, they're going through the lanes right now with all their kit on to see how much space they have in there to treat about two to three casualties. Uh, it's going pretty well so far. A lot of the soldiers are really enthusiastic and they want to learn a lot of the stuff. Um, back at their units, they don't have FLAs. They just use regular vehicles to transport their casualties. So. Um, they're getting a chance for the first time to practice sticking IVs in the back of these, treating in the back of these, and these are very shaky vehicles, so it's a lot harder to conduct um, casualty care in the back of these. So they're learning to adjust from what they've learned uh, through the Ukrainian army. So we've been rotating them through, uh, through most of the day. The morning portion was fairly simple, uh, calm, and we just talked through it. And then this afternoon portion, we've been picking it up to have more and more patients, more and more realistic um, moulage and, uh, and casualties out there. So uh, there's nothing better than being able to share experiences and knowledge on how to save lives. Uh, that's the most important thing. We want the Ukrainians to be equipped and trained in order to save as many lives as possible, to be as efficient as possible.